hello guys welcome to cat mad so previously two years uh, like two years back i have made a had made a video of a cricket bat and see this is the previously two years back made cricket bat in katia so around two days back i got a comment that how to make a notch on a cricket bat so actually uh, i was a bit surprised to see the comment as i thought i already made a cricket bat and why i got a comment like this so actually this is the bat that like i used during my childhood when I used to play I used to have this kind of bat so I thought this this is the actual bat how it looks like so but when I googled it and do some searching and all so I came to know this is not the actual bat this is that a children's play so I th I thought this is the, how the actual bat looks like so I have seen some photos of the real cricket bat and I tried to make a real cricket bat a original cricket bat with some not accurate dimensions but some adjusting the dimensions so that the shape won't be get disturbed too much so uh, I thought I can make a new bat so so in this video I'm going to show you that how I made from this bat to this bat entirely in a different way so the basic remains same so let's see how I made this I just close this one and just open this one so step by step we'll see how this final shape is created step by step so firstly it's already created so I'm just uh, trying to tell you some first step onwards so just right click on the sketch here and just clicking on the define work object so this is the first sketch I had created in the, I went for right side view in the view and then I created this spine here the basic shape that I want to create the bat should be so this is a base feature that I created so this plays an important role in your final shape of, of a cricket bat. So after creating this, then I went for creating a play. So how I created this sketch firstly, so these are the dimensions that I have followed, like 63. So actually the units are in centimeters. Previously, they used to be in millimeters, but I uh, changed the units from millimeters to centimeters to avoid any confusions. So I think that centimeters will be most uh, more appropriate for creating this bat. So I can imagine in a better way. If you by, by using this centimeters as a unit so I just changed it in like in set uh, sorry where is this tools option so in that uh, like parameters in general parameters and measurements in that you can go for units and in that length I selected centimeters previously 
it is in ml millimeter so i change it to centimeters and i click ok so now i feel more confident with centimeters so this is the basic feature that i created with some angles and using this profile option so right line up to here and then tangency followed here with the total length 63 so and these are some dimensions and then i went for creating a plane here at this point of intersection between the tangency and the straight line so at this point i created this plane and then uh, and created another plane here so after that so I, so I created this plane here by using uh, like uh, yeah normal to curve I use sorry sorry yeah normal to curve I use so the curve I selected and the end point I selected so Plane also created in the same way using the normal to curve option in the plane definitions. So then I went for creating a sketch on the first plane here. So coming to this plane, I'll tell you why I created. So firstly, I'm going to tell you this. Uh, sketch 6 created on the first plane double click so these are the dimensions I used I should have created the first section first off and I just mirrored this so this is 4 centimeters 5.5 from the center and 2.5 is the height and coming to this top point I fixed it at origin just like that so now let's exit the sketch and coming to the next sketch here so define work offset so this is the sketch 8 that I created <coughs> but the bad thing about it I haven't used this sketch profile in creating this final model the reason is uh, I will tell you wait so I will tell you the reason before that uh, let's go for the point here and find work object so so I created a point at some distance uh, by adjusting at a 23 from this end just using the point on point definition and point type on curve at 23 from this edge I just uh, created this point for the creation of the plane actually that I have done for the creation of the plane so the plane can be created with normal to curve with a curve and a point so I need a point for the creation of this plane so that's the reason I created the point I think uh, there are other ways of creating a plane with even without a point I think so anyway then I went for this multi-section solid here you can see this is a multi-section solid option so so I really not going to uh, give much attention to this profile dimensions as I haven't used this in the creation of the final sketch so I just this is how it looks so just visiting uh, so coming to this sketch 10 this is the sketch where is it gone? So 
don't panic we, we can see this only when you right click and define in work object and add it I just add it and you and I hide it and hide it then you can see this or oh, just going to hide thing I'll hide this also yeah so on this plane I created this sketch oh so coming to the sketch so the sketch eight yeah coming to sketch eight so actually I thought of uh, like creating a multi-section solid by using all these four sections different profiles all these four different profiles by combining all these four different profiles I thought of creating a uh, perfect shape but unfortunately I was not able to do that adding this number this this number this four numbers of so four profiles is for creating this so I have unused this section sketch 8 I have not used that one for creating this multi section so I got a better shape by using this one and this sketch 10 and this sketch 11 and this is sketch 6 yeah I haven't used this sketch 8 so just adding this one so I used all these three profiles for creating this final shape. So this, you know, this uh, I got this notch from the shape that I created, mainly the sketch ten, and starting from this sketch six and ending in sketch eleven. So you see this here it's a perfect shape you can see by joining all these three so all these three sketches and how to combine those three sketches is I have used the spine as the base curve created sketch 5 at the first first I have created this sketch 5 this is the first sketch that I created for the top of so by using the sketch 5 as a spine option spine for like a, a sub this, a, this really plays an important role in creating this shape or the notch here so, so this is how I create selected all these three sketches and and make sure the closing point is at the same vertex on all the three sketches and even the direction is in the anti-clockwise direction on the three sketches which you see so successfully created this join this multi-section solids with the three sketches this is spine of sketch 5 and click ok so I got this shape right then going for the next one Pad. So this coming to this pad. This uh, I think everyone can. Do this. this is a just a simple circle. Just a simple circle, but the uh, creation with a different option using right tangent circle so that. You need no need to give the diameter of the circle. You need no need to worry about the diameter, exact diameter. So you can just 
select three edges and the circle will be created tangent to the three edges so uh, actually we need to before creating the circle we need to create the edges here because in the sketcher workbench we want to select these edges uh, it's not directly possible we need to first chill out those edges by using this what is this option here project 3d elements and keeping the sketch tools a uh, in the construction element should be switched on and then if you select these edges individually so that they will be highlighted as a construction lines so you can use this construction lines to create this right tangent circle so keep in mind that we need to select the edges not the face if you select the face the whole all edges will be selected and that will be like a single profile like a single sketch so it's not possible to select the lines individually anyway even if you have got the for all sides or uh, like a single we inserted the face uh, after getting the single sketch single like a single profile of all the edges then we need to use another option like uh, break or uh, and disassemble like some of the options you can find in the wireframe and surface design like uh, what are the options yeah disassemble options uh, we need to use the the some, some of those options like that for really breaking those uh, lines into single individual lines so so in order to avoid all those multiple actions you can just select the edges and this separately what are the edges you want by using this uh, project 3d elements so then i use this pad operation created a length of 23 approximately 23 centimeters and then i went for the filleting so filleting all the let's select it define work offset so we can see the filleting option so the filleting I selected this edge and this bottom two edges uh, given the radius is one centimeter and I created that one so then and one more thing I forgot to tell you this uh, in my sketch level so these are the dimensions in the sketch level are the tall profile that I use for multi selection for this so these are the sum of dimensions that I use and to the origin I made it as zero at the top so that can be fully constrained. So these are some of the dimensions that I used for it. I love exit. And then so if you see after I've seen that filleting then you know, hide this uh, define work object uh, uh, then I went for creating the fit model and creating this uh, small cow shape here as I have found that uh, the picture when I googled the forget that uh, was the photo was so I have seen there there is a cow type that is not exactly flat there's a radius some radius so i created this i first i created this line and this line and then using this profile option i created and then tangency curve and again straight line so i just created this so before creating that uh if you see it's not can see this uh, yellow color dotted lines 
so these are the construction lines that i created so for this circular this is a circular object for this we cannot create the edges by using this project 3d element we need to use this uh, chill project 3d chill out edges option for creating the outermost edges for a circular object for highlighting the outermost edges uh, for this uh, i use the project 3d normal flat thing so then i use the construction line for creating this profile then i create the picture and then what i done is uh, i uh, i So actually I thought of using the revolve option but uh, later lately I found that uh, the center of revolution is not exactly to this handle center so I thought I just uh, create a plane at an offset distance from the absolute horizon so that this plane lies at the center of this handle or the circle that i created earlier so i think the circle is around 3.9 something so if you see sorry if you see this circle here for creation of handle is 3.928 so uh, it is, uh, I just offset the plane of, of this 3.928. So that is six. So this is off of 3.928 from the absolute planes, rigid plane. So for creating those, so I just use the project option. I can find that in the wireframe on surface design workbench so i use the like where is it uh, let me show you to be clear uh, here you can see this uh, projection option so i just projected this on to this plane uh, then i use the uh, so after projecting this i just hidden this actual main uh, like main sketch i just hide it so after projecting this i use this projected sketch for using the revolute option in the wireframe and surface design workbench this is the revolute option as it is to decrease then i just went for split option can find the split option in the part design part design you can find a split option here so what is the split option you can you need to check the arrow direction for getting the split in either of sides which side you want so then uh, after creating the split uh, so then this is the final operation that i have done so i hide this one then i hide this one I so after this uh this is the shape that is created so then i thought uh, I need to keep from filleting at the edges of this so open the fillet option so that made this uh, complete I say let's hide this thing So finally, so 
and this is what we got after this multiple changes the final product that we got so this i think somewhat closer to the original ticket bag that were used in top matches in real matches so i think i have adjusted the dimension to so to get the profile on the top notch mm, some close to perfection not i i won't say that it is perfect but i'll say i just somewhat closer to the perfection so although this video will help you and me thanks for the comment and so for seeing the comment that made me i took this comment seriously and so that i is the result that i am giving to that comment for a top notch how to create the top notch that it will get bad so in katia so this is the final product that i got after multiple iterations so it took me around i think one hour for it just creating this whole thing so that's it guys hope you enjoy the video hope you got the solution for it so and i'm glad for the comments and you got in those i'm glad to help you and thank you guys have a good day please i don't i don't say that you to subscribe to my channel but i'll say if you like to see or learn or get some whatever you want like in this you got it useful if you think it is useful then you can go for it if you don't think is not much important to you then you can just leave it that's up to you guys have a good day bye bye